Why, well, hello and welcome back to another vlog. And yeah, I know it's been a wee while. Uh, it's been just just under two months if this goes up on date. Because my last one was the 14th of January and this is going to go up on the 10th of March. And I do apologise for that. I know I said originally I was going to try and do them more often, more frequently. But I've had a couple of reasons why I've not done them. One of which, in my last vlog, I'm sure it was, I said I was keeping quite unwell and it took me a wee while to get over that uh, with the cough and all the rest of it, but I have recovered. I'm back, I'm still alive. The other reason, one of the other reasons is when I'd done one of my last videos, I noticed using the GoPro, which I've got just here off camera. There it is, that's my GoPro 10 and a wee case to try and prevent one noise which we'll get on to in a minute is when I was recording with that I noticed when I was moving round that a lot of the sound was changing it was, I more noticed that in editing that a lot of the sound was changing and all the rest of it which I wasn't too happy with and I couldn't fix it in editing because again my time is limited so I can only spend so long and I was a bit is that just cause of the standard mic, which I think it was. Because obviously moving, I went out into my hallway and from my living room to kitchen and things like that, the hall obviously the sound echoes a bit more and then in the kitchen, again, different spacing, so, yeah. Size so might not, I'm actually shaved, well, cleaner shaved than I was last time. I had a bit of a full beard going on then, but now I've shaved off. Mostly cause I had to renew my driver's license goes out at that 10 years. Oh, we need a new picture of you fucking stuff. So I had to do that. I decided, right, because I don't usually have a full beard, I'll shave for it. So anyway, back to what I was saying, because I tangent off all the time doing these, and it's annoying, is when my GoPro done that with the sound, I was like, how did I fix this? And I'd been looking for a while at the multimedia case, which I have sitting just here. This is it here. And it's just under £80 for that, believe it or not. And I was like, right, okay. Now, decide eventually, I'll just bite the bullet and I'll buy it. So that's what I've done. I've bought the bullet. Yeah, I've bought the bullet. I bought the bullet and I bought the case. Now, hopefully that's going to make a difference on doing things because this case has a built-in microphone on it. Just just here. Because oh, it helps to forget it on camera. And the camera, just there. But, not just that. Yes, I'm back in focus. On the back, if I can get the wee port open, if we look just here, have the camera will focus again. It has a jack for a microphone as well, which obviously I've got one on this camera. So I was like, that very well might just do the job. And it does even come with a wee windsocky thing. Which isn't quite as big and bulky as the one that was a that I've got on the case. So I just put it through, through that way there. You know, it's not quite as big and bulky as the one that I've got on the GoPro just now. And that's it, all put together. So, yeah, we'll give that a try and we'll do a wee segment with that and see how it gets on. And the other reason is I've, I'm hoping, well, with the good weather hopefully on its way, sooner rather than later, get some more videos of the bike and as you've just seen, that's got a jack, so hopefully I can get a mic inside the helmet. And talk to you as I'm out of the bike, instead of it just being the normal... I've had to do a voiceover whilst watching it. So, yeah, that could be handy. And, yeah, let's say it's about £80 for that, that case, so... Great. That was 80 quid. I really wasn't looking to spend, but... Like I said, I'm hoping it'll make a difference. So... Yeah, what else has been going on in the two months? Well, not too much really. In my last vlog, I was saying about my wee Aspire block. Well, <coughs> I don't use that anymore. It's, I've basically gave it away to somebody else. Because, to be fair, it's a good wee vape and all the rest of it. But I've been using my PX80s. I have a lot more. I've, that, I was just I was sitting there doing nothing. And, one of my friends was going on about he need a good one. I thought, you know what? I've got a good one sitting doing nothing. He can have that. And apart from that, not much has been going going on really. Uh, I do have something else going on in 
hopefully in between this vlog and the next one you'll get to see what that is and all the rest of it but going back to the subject of the bike I got a letter through this morning saying that I need to tax my bike and I was like well, that's fine I can do that I can tax a bike until I realised as well the MOT ran out and I was like oh bugger so I also need to MOT it which won't be in this vlog unfortunately it will be in another one so hopefully that will pass it's MOT I'll try to go out on Monday and do that I think well not Monday because I'm only fishing on Monday which again will be in the will be part of a vlog I think or just a video on its own because unfortunately we are coming to the end of bike season which is what I've been fishing for lately is a bit of bike so I'm going to pause this here I'm actually going to check the dates of the bike fishing because I want to make sure we're still in season so jump cut right welcome back on that just had a wee look up there and sorry I'm looking at my monitor here if you're wondering why I keep looking around is basically the bike season here in the UK runs from September, October to about the 14th of March, which is, well, we're on the 10th and I'm out on Monday, which is 11th, so we're still within bike season, really, but just, so that's likely be the last chance I've got to get a bit of a fishing, well, fishing for biking on my vlog this sort of thing, and yeah, through work I don't always get out that as much as I maybe like, so yeah. And with that to do on Tuesday, we've got to try and MLT the bike, by the looks of it. Yeah, go have a busy week, by the looks, because I'm on holiday this week from work, so... Good time to try and get all that done. Yes. And, yeah, so on and so forth. So, I'm going to put in another jump cut, you know. I'm going to try and do some of this video with the GoPro, and we'll see how that goes. And if needs to be, I'll come back to this one, and... We'll see how we get on with it. So... Jump cut. So, as I said, we're going to do a wee bit of a bit of the vlog on this sort of setup with the, the GoPro. Now, this is still in the, the way I had it before, so it's just got that one sort of case on it. And it's on its sort of selfie stick, so yeah, if there's any bobbing and moving and wiggling and waggling and all that, that's why. So, yeah, I'm hoping the new case will. You can see my monitor there in the background. So I am hoping this case is going to make a wee bit of a difference. I've just realised I've walked away and left my vape line there, but never mind. Turn on my kitchen light. Right. Can do that, you can see. Yeah, you can tell what jackets in the background. Now the other big difference to a lot of this is, and before anyone says, it's a different IPX that I've got to them. Now, the other big difference to what's been going on is, my last vlog when I was filming, I didn't notice it was dark outside. There were some bits where I had my back, where I had my windows on. You could see my windows, and you could see it was rather dark outside, which was when I came home from work. And yeah, it's like that just, just now because of the time I'm actually recording this. <coughs> and yeah, I actually worked it quite well. Quite well, give me an excuse to walk through and do the. See, it show us all about with the sound. Sorry, I'm not doing very good recording this book. And yeah, hopefully I can get on camera. There's the puppy. Yeah. She's not usually one for being on camera too much, is a wee pup. So yeah, like I was saying, hopefully this, the new case will make a difference. To which point, just now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut again. I'm going to take the camera off, the stick, put the new case on it. We'll give that a try and see if the new mic actually works with it. So, jump cut. Right, so thought I'd show you how this case goes on. All the same, so, as you can see here, just got the standard GoPro. And this is weird as hell, because I'm watching what's going on on the camera, not what I'm actually doing. So, there's the camera. There's the case, you can see what the one sock is still on. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but you can see there's a wee USB-C port in there, which is obviously going to hook into the camera. So what you need to do is open this port here, and you pull that wee tab down, up, and just 
pop it off. And that's about as about important as if you're doing this yourself, watch you don't pull that port open because that's for the waterproofing of the camera. Something to do with water disposal or something like that. So then obviously with the case here. And again you've got the same sort of tab here at the bottom. Just pull that pop open and careful the case is a wee bit flexy like that, but it's not gonna push it too much. And then try to watch how it does. Then the camera just slides in like that. Push the latch down. Make sure it looks in, and nice wee healthy clip there, and that's it, that's the case installed. Hopefully you can see that alright, I do apologise for the shadow, which I've just realised is there. The shadow here, right up here, is from the tripod for the camera. Anyway, jump cut. Right, so obviously this is now the GoPro back again with its new case on, and... Yeah, just in the same sort of walk as I've done before. Where yeah. I've got to watch what I'm doing here. You've got to open the door. I'm sure I'll have that open, really. So, hopefully, I um, don't have to do any adjustments on the camera itself for the mic. I don't know, this mic actually came out all muted. But, hopefully, with the case on it, it just sort of adapts to it and the microphone works. But the one good thing about this is, is I no longer have to have a adapter on my selfie stick for the light, because the light's on top of the camera. <coughs> I mean, it's got two or three bits for actually attaching different bits on. So I'm just having a wee wander around, so I can in edit and I can see what the sound comes out like. So, yeah. Hopefully this case will make a difference for going out and about and on the bike, things like that. So, yeah, hopefully on Monday, or Tuesday, should I say. I keep saying Monday, forget I'm going out fishing. So, well, hopefully Monday I'll have the camera out with the case and I apologise for being whitewashed. There's a light right there, right above me. I'm walking right under it. You can see it there on the camera now. I don't know why I've done that. You could see it without doing that. Hey, Nico de Picos, big boy's back. <coughs> so, yeah, hopefully this will come out on Monday at the fishing and also... Get the bike MOT this week, and yeah, again, hopefully the camera will be used in that, and yeah, we an helmet mic or something, and connect it that way. I will see how it goes. But anyway, I'm gonna jump cut again just now. I'm gonna put this on the computer, and I'm gonna see how it compares with the case. So anyway, jump cut. Well, for those of you that have made it this far and still missing seeing Nico, he's made a Decided to come up and make an appearance on camera. Uh, yeah, he's sitting on my knee now as I try and record the end of this. But, as you can see, the case for the GoPro obviously does make a bit of a difference to the sound quality. And I do apologise, I'm starting to get a bit tired. I'm a bit dirty. So I'm not going to drag the arse out of this bit. And, um, yeah, I've now got a Nico sitting on my knee. <laughs> but, and the pups running around in the background. Just being a pain, trying to pull out all our toys and all the rest of it. So, yeah, anyway, that's your, that's a vlog for this week done, I suppose. And hopefully you can see what the plan is for the cameras. And, yeah, we'll see how that actually plays out. Because I've got great ideas. I've come up with great plans and all the rest of it. And then putting them into practice, I fail it miserably. So, anyway... Well, I'll call an end to it there because I have no idea how long this video is going to be because I've made it into multiple bits filmed over multiple cameras again. So, until next time, remember, stay smart, be safe, thank you others, and peace!